SDAM or SDAM, Severely Deficient Autobiographical Memory. So, what is autobiographical memory? We've clearly got Wikipedia here. Let's get a quick definition on that. Uh, autobiographical memory is a memory system consisting of episodes recollected from an individual's life based on a combination of episodic personal experiences and specific objects, people and events experienced at particular time and place, and semantic general knowledge and facts about the world memory. It is thus a type of explicit memory. So it's basically your own self memory, your own life, your own experiences, your childhood, Holidays, places that you've been to, people that you've met, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's the memory of your entire life. SDAM, Severely Deficient Autobiographical Memory. You probably can't see this, but I'm going to read it anyway, so don't worry. Uh, SDAM refers to a lifelong inability to vividly recollect or re-experience personal past events from a first-person perspective. Um, yeah, so the first-person perspective is important and that is to say anything that you can remember or have experienced and you are seeing it through your own eyes it's first person um, the alternative being third person is where you're sort of witnessing yourself in that event um, like in games or sometimes you can dream in those two different ways as well you can dream in first person as the experience of the environment or Third person where you're like watching yourself in the dream. Um, so, SDAM. I discovered this around the same time I discovered aphantasia. Um, and while they're not strictly linked, there does seem to be a strong correlation between the two. So, just to summarize, aphantasia is mind blindness. It's the inability to visualize your memory or imagination. So I can't see anything. I've got no no visual memory, um, no visual imagination. I can't see anything in my mind. I sort of I sort of read it. I've got the thoughts and I've got the knowledge, but I can't see anything. Estam, yeah. So my memories of my life and experiences uh, and school and people and places I've lived. Uh, I don't have any, hence the severely deficient autobiographical memory. Uh, they don't exist for me. I don't have any memories of oh, any of it. What I do have, bizarrely, are memories of photos and videos of things that I've experienced. So, for example, holidays and things. I've been on a few holidays, I'm quite lucky. But the only parts of them I can remember are things that I've seen in photos. And I know this because I'm seeing it all in third person, like I'm looking at myself in that photo or that video. Um, for example, I spent about five weeks in Thailand and I can only remember the parts of it that I've got photos from because I've seen the photos and it's not memories of the event, I've got memories of the photos that I've seen. So I can see myself standing in some of the temples, uh, there's a big elephant. Um, I can remember, a, a, there's a photo of me on a zip line, on some adventure thing, uh, in a few restaurants, eating food, but I don't remember these experiences. I'm literally just reading the memory of the photos that I know I have. Uh, same actually for, I can remember a sports day when I'm about 10 and I've got a white t-shirt on, I've got black leggings on. Again, I can't see this, I'm reading my memories. Uh, I think it's an egg and spoon race and I'm I'm running towards my own memory. So basically, my mum is videoing this from the finish line, and I've seen this video. So my memories are of me running towards the camera. There is a pink elephant on my t-shirt. There's a lot of elephants today. Um, yeah, so all of my autobiographical memories are... 
I want to say like images of photos and videos, but it's not because I can't see it because of the aphantasia. I can just read it because I know I've got the photos. It sucks. I can't remember any experience I've ever had. I can't relive any of it. I can just see the photos, at which point I might as well be looking at the photos. I can't see the photos. I can read the photos. If I look at the photos that are on Facebook and whatever else, then it's the same as the memories that I already have. I can't go further than that. I have no... I can't expand out of the photos that I've got. That's it. Like, basically, I could Photoshop myself climbing up Everest, and as far as I'm concerned, that would be my memory of it. That's it. Now, interestingly, as I was thinking through this, there are a select few memories which are in first person, but they are all traumas, all of them. So any of the bullying, the abuse, the racism, the self-harm, the things like I've been to court five times and my trauma of that, I can, I remember all of that in first person, like reading it, not seeing it. Because obviously there's no photos of that. There's, not, <laughs> there's no photos of, of that as an event, but I know that I can remember it and it's in first person because it was traumatizing. Uh, similarly, uh, in Thailand, I jumped off a boat without a life jacket on and the tide was going out and I got swept out to sea and I nearly drowned. And all of that is in first person. Again, obviously there's no photos of that, but I know that happened and the only reason I have that memory is because it was a trauma and it's very clearly in first person. Now I find that really fascinating and there's no explanation for that. This is, uh, again, it's a very recent um, condition that's been labelled, very similar to um, aphantasia. There's very little studies that have been done on this. There's not much information about it. I found in a lot of the aphantasia help groups, the support groups that are on Reddit and Facebook and things, this comes up a lot. SDAM comes up a lot associated with aphantasia. Uh, and I'm wondering how much of it is trauma related and it's so bizarre that any happy memories that I would have only exist as third person photos and anything that I consider a traumatic experience and I know this because there, these are things that photos would not exist of that I have those memories in first person, very clearly. Um, again, not as images, as as the knowledge of the the experience of that event. That's it's bizarre. It's bizarre. But uh, yeah, now you know. It's another thing. Geneva's disorder of the day. Uh, yeah. Anybody else got this? Anybody else with aphantasia that also has SDAM? What are your experiences of that? What do you find any other connection between that? Do you have any differences in your perception of your autobiographical memory between trauma and non-trauma? Do you notice any difference between your first person memories and your third person memories? Um, is there anybody that doesn't have aphantasia that does have SDAM? That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's not too much information about this. Uh, there's more relevant reading material and experiences on Reddit. There is a Reddit for SDAM, there is a Reddit for Aphantasia. Um, I recommend going and having a look at both. There are also support groups for both of these things on Facebook as well. Yes, that's me done for the day. Um, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.